Welcome back. I'm really excited today to walk you through some of the powerful new features in Collimator 2.0. So I see this as the starting point of the future of model-based engineering. And the biggest change so far is that the entire uh, new Collimator backend has been fully updated with JAX compatibility. So JAX has a number of really, really big features that allow us to do bigger, badder modeling and control of more complex systems. So we have things like GPU accelerated simulation, so you can work with much larger models. We have JIT just-in-time compiling. And probably for me uh, and the team, most importantly, you have this automatic differentiation capability. So you can really leverage the entire machine learning uh, kind of ecosystem and workflow uh, in Python in these collimator modeling uh, simulation and control workflows. So this is going to have huge, huge knock-on effects, um, especially the auto differentiation, that we can include things like neural network models, much more seamlessly trained uh, with kind of powerful, you know, Python-based machine learning tools. We can incorporate tools like uh, neural ODEs, Cindy modeling, uh, and the automatic differentiation is also going to allow us to do much better parameter tuning and optimization much faster. So just like we use backpropagation to train neural network models, we're also going to be able to use this kind of automatic differentiation of our JAX models to do sensitivity analyses, parameter tuning, optimization in a much, much more powerful way than you could with kind of traditional um, graphical modeling and control engines. So we're gonna talk a lot more about that auto-tuning, auto-diff, neural network, uh, machine learning modeling in a little bit. Generative AI is another one of these huge pieces that we uh, believe is going to unlock a lot of advanced engineering capabilities if we use it intelligently. So Collimator 2.0 uh, is fully integrated with, uh, with large language models, with ChatGPT. And so you can use this as a co-pilot to do kind of this collaborative model-based design, engineering, and control. So for example, uh, you can ask GPT about the, the block diagram you're working with. It can derive equations of motion for you. Or you can tell it that you want to work with a particular system, like a set of couple water tanks where there's you know, flow between them, and it will start to help you generate the actual block diagrams that will simulate that physical uh, set of differential equations. You can ask for advice about what types of controls work for stiff ODEs or for chaotic systems or for high dimensional systems or limited actuation or full actuation. And you can really start to use this as a guided uh, kind of collaboration uh, in your work. So this is gonna become central to how we do, again, kind of the future of, of engineering. And it's fully integrated, fully uh, incorporated into Collimator. And that's kind of what's existing now. The future capabilities that we're really excited about and are working on involve things like adding better corpuses, corpi, corpuscles of knowledge that are more tailored to, to your specific kind of engineering needs, and also giving it tie-ins and hooks into the actual API, both the Collimator API and other uh, kind of related uh, APIs. So you can ask it to do things like, you know, derive my system of equations, please. I always say please and thank you. Uh, and you know, help me linearize about the fixed point. That's the kind of thing that you know, in the future we're gonna be able to do uh, with this, this seamless integration. Okay, so thoughtful integration of generative AI tools is a game changer, uh, again, and it's gonna become a standard part of our workflow uh, in the future. One of the other things we're really uh, excited about is this integration with actual hardware. Um, so we've been partnering with Kwanzer Systems. Um, Kwanzer is an educational control and modeling hardware company that, that builds really, really cool uh, controls hardware and physical systems that you can use to uh, teach students about controls and robotics and things like that. I, when I was a grad student, I learned control theory on Kwanzer hardware, <laughs> actually at Princeton. Um, and so this has been a collaboration between Kwanzer and Collimator to see if we can start using uh, Collimator as the graphical modeling and control engine to start analyzing these Kwanzer systems. You know, very quickly it was possible to get Collimator wrapped around this Kwanzer virtual kind of digital twin uh, rotary pendulum system. And with a little bit of, you know, controls engineering know-how, you can swing this thing up using energy-based control into the upright vertical position where you then stabilize, um, you know, using classical control theory. 
But what I thought was really remarkable was that once uh, you have this controller wrapped around this kind of digital twin, you can then take that exact same collimator control model and wrap it around the actual physical Kwanzaa hardware and it basically just works um, you know, from the, from the get-go. So that's really, really exciting. We have this kind of uh, actual hardware in the loop control design um, in Collimator 2.0. One of the things I'm really excited about with Kwanzaa is that during the, the pandemic, they put a really concerted effort into moving their physical hardware systems into these digital twin representations. So now there are digital twins of uh, most, if not all, of their actual hardware systems. So even if you don't have access to their you know, physical hardware, if you're doing this on, uh, on the internet, if you're a remote learner, you can still interact with those systems. One of the things I'm most excited about is real-time collaboration. So because this is cloud-based uh, and, and kind of interactive, you can have a whole team working on one collimator simulation uh, and control model where you know, in the past it's been a very isolated, solo, lonely experience to do this um, uh, in, in other software. So all of us want this kind of Google Docs uh, shared functionality, and now we have this real-time collaboration in Collimator. So you can work with your friends and colleagues in a much more natural, much more modern way. Again, think the future of model-based engineering. It's gonna be teams working collaboratively together on the same models. So another really, really exciting piece of this uh, Collimator 2.0, this major overhaul to Collimator, again, going back to this full JAX uh, integration, we now have the capability to do things like automatic differentiation uh, of our models. So Collimator models can now be fully composable, fully differentiable, which is a huge, huge uh, advantage when you're doing control and modeling and optimization. So just like you can use backpropagation uh, to train a neural network, that is essentially leveraging the automatic differentiability of you know, neural network layers. We can do the same thing to compute sensitivity analysis of any input to any output and vice versa. We can optimize much more powerful, uh, big you know, high dimensional optimization problems with this uh, automatic differentiation. This has huge effects for things like model predictive control, reinforcement learning, um, and just like you could t traditionally use gradient or adjoint based optimization. We can do the same kinds of things, but without those you know, very, very challenging pencil and paper calculations of the adjoint or the gradient. So you get the, that information essentially for free when you have an automatically differentiable uh, collimator model block, like a JAX model block. There's kind of a cool biological analogy of motor control, how actual animals control themselves. Um, so imagine I'm trying to play tennis, right? So my brain, you know, you could build a forward model of how signals go from my brain to my muscles to swing a racket, to hit a ball, to go to some location. So I could build a forward model of that. What auto differentiation and back propagation allow you to do is now, if I want to move the placement of that ball, I want it to go one meter to the, to the left or to the right, Back propagation allows me to go back through that circuit, through that, that instead of a forward model, it allows me to back propagate through that, that, that model and actually figure out how to change the inputs to get that desired output. So forward models tell us how to, you know, how an input will affect an output. Back propagation, enabled by automatic differentiation, allows us to figure out how to change my inputs to get the desired output. That is a game changer for optimization and control, and it's going to become a cornerstone of modern, model-based engineering. So again, that is enabled by our full JAX compatibility and integration in Collimator 2.0. And there's other kind of related things you can do once you have this capability, this automatic differentiation capability. Um, and so I think of this sometimes as allowing you to get sensitivity analysis, you can do kind of gradient-based optimization without explicitly computing those gradients, and it allows you to do really, really cool things like auto-tune your controllers. So here we have a demonstration of auto-tuning a PID controller. So instead of doing kind of a grid search through all of the P's, the I's, and the D's, the proportional integral and derivative gains, here you can do something much more clever and much more computationally efficient by using this kind of automatic differentiation to auto-tune your PID controller. So we think that this is a really cool feature that again, we think we're trying to envision, we at the Collimator, you know, the, the team, are trying to envision what is the future of engineering? How are people gonna to use tools in the future? Anything that is kind of 
uh, boring or repetitive or tedious, um, you know, that a human would do like tuning a PID controller, we think that that should be a one-click auto-tune using this, this uh, kind of automatic differentiation capability. And so currently we have this in, in PID tuning, but you're gonna see this getting integrated into a lot more features in Collimator, again, built on this automatic differentiation in JAX. So you can have it so that your MPC controllers are auto-tuned or your Cindy-based controllers are auto-tuned. Uh, and you know, kind of the sky's the limit if you really are able to leverage these uh, modern tools. There's also really, really powerful advances in model predictive control. Um, this has been one of the fields that has been changing the most rapidly with deep learning and modern machine learning. So we have things like uh, deep MPC, tube MPC. Uh, you know, we can do nonlinear MPC problems that were previously kind of unfathomable based on their computational complexity. And so here you can see just a, a really simple example of this bigger idea that we can actually do uh, model predictive control um, you know, in a much more powerful and general way uh, in these kind of modern, um, fully composable, fully differentiable environments. So there's some really powerful new functionality and features in Collimator 2.0. Uh, again, really reimagining. The team at Collimator has been reimagining what does it mean to do model-based engineering, uh, design dynamical systems and control in the modern era? What is the future of model-based engineering? The Collimator has had this massive update, but the team uh, is as fantastic as they ever were. So that's, for me, my favorite part about this is that you know that the Collimator team is already thinking of the next uh, set of functionality and the next things that they want to build on this uh, increasingly powerful base. And as you as the community start to engage with us, try the tool, test it out, see where it breaks or where it doesn't, um, you know, quite fulfill your needs and let the team know. And, you know, I'm very, very confident that they're actually going to uh, continue to build and improve based on that feedback. So this is super exciting for me. Check it out yourself at collimator.ai. Um, let us know what you think. And I hope you're excited about joining the future of model-based engineering.